Mary. My husband. That's a big word. Husband. It's a good word. Are you happy, Mary? Yes, so happy. Afraid? Um, I suppose. Oh, it happens to every girl. Just for a minute. We can't be too... We can't be too lucky, Mary. Not you and me. If you say so, Mr. Stone, or don't you know what sort of housekeeper I am? Father, your aunt, Kathy, that's just you and me, and that's all that matters in the world. And you don't know anything else? What's that? How proud am I of you ever since I was a little girl, ever since I carried my books? Oh, I'm sorry for this one. I can't be proud of him. A man can always be proud of everything, Mary. That's something a man does or might do. Whom he has to make the, his way. I know. Things. <laughs> things like being the best farmer in the world. A few things besides. But you remember one thing, Mary. Whatever happens, it's all for you. And nothing's going to happen because he hasn't come yet. And he would have. And he would have come if he was wrong. But it's wonderful to have Mr. Webster come to us. I wasn't thinking about Mr. Webster. Mary, I've got something to tell you. I should have told you before, but I couldn't. Seem to bear it. Only now that's all, that it's all right. I can ten years ago. Now that is all right. Neighbors. Old friends, it does me good to hear you. But don't cheer me. I'm not running for president this summer. I'm here on a better errand. To pay my humble respects to a most charming lady and her very fortunate spouse. Tarnation, busted a string. We're proud of we're proud of State Senator State Senator Stone in these parts. We know what he's done. Ten years ago, he started out with a patch of land that was mostly rocks and mortgages, and now well, you only can look around you. I don't know that I've ever seen a likelier farm, not even at Marshfield, and I hope, before I die, I'll have the privilege of shaking his hand as governor of the state. I don't know how he's done it. I couldn't have done it better myself. But I know this. The best stone wears no man's collar. And what's more, I don't know Jabez. He never will. But I didn't come here to talk politics. I came to kiss the bride. Congratulations, Stone. You're a lucky man. And now, if our friend in the corner will give us a tune on his fiddle. Hell's the light. Excuse me, Mr. Webster, but the very devil's got into the fiddle of mine. She was doing all right up until a minute ago, but now I've tuned her and tuned her and won't play no. Maybe you need some rosemary or something. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't remember seeing you before. I'm just a friend, a humble friend of the bride, the groom. Bride and groom, I've mentioned. You've improved this place so much since I last saw it, by the way. It's very nice. I mean, uh, but I assure you, I came as fast as I could. It, it doesn't matter. Mary, Mr. Webster, this is a friend of mine from Boston. A legal friend. I didn't expect him today, but... My dear Mr. So, I wouldn't miss this for the world. You're getting married. This is a very important event. Mr. Webster, don't let me break up uh, the merriment of the meeting. Mr. Webster, it's a pleasure. Attorney of record for Jabez Stone. I'm not asking any. I've gone by a good many, but scratch will do for now. I'm often called that in these regions. May I? And now I call upon you, as a law-abiding citizen, to assist me in the taking of my property. Not so fast, Mr. Scratch. Produce your evidence if you have it. There. Hmm. This appear, I say it appears to be properly drawn, but of course we contest the signature. 
Mr. Jabez Stone, is that your signature? You know damn well it is. And keep, what's the problem here? Keep quiet, Stone. But that, that is a minor matter. That is a minor man, matter. This precious document isn't worth the paper it's written on. The law permits no traffic in human flesh. Oh, my dear Webster, courts in every state in the Union have held that human flesh is property and recoverable. Read your Fugitive Slave Act, or shall I cite Brander versus McRae? But in the case of the state of Maryland versus four barrels of Barbon, that was overruled, as you know, sir. North Carolina versus Jenkins and Co. You seem to have an excellent acquaintance with the law, sir. Sir, that is no fault of mine. Where I come from, we have always gotten the pick of the bar. Well, come on now, sir. There's no need to make lay, make hay and oats of a trifling matter when we're both sensible men. Surely we can settle this little difficulty out of court. My client is quite prepared to offer a compromise. A, a very substantial compromise. Hang it, man, you're over $10,000. 20000 30 name your figure. I'll raise it if I have to make mortgage, mortgage Maryland. Quite useless, Mr. Webster. There is only one thing I want from you. The execution of my contract. But this is absurd! Mr. 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 Stone is now a state senator. The, the property has greatly increased in value. The principle of Covier Emptor still holds, Mr. Webster. And now, if you have no further arguments to adduce, I'm rather pressed for time. Come here. Let's go. You shall not have this man. Mr. Stone is an American citizen, and no American citizen may be forced into the service of a foreign prince. Foreign? You call me a foreigner? Well, I have never heard of, the de of you claiming American citizenship. And who with a better right? When the first wrong was done to the Indians, I was there. When the first slaver put out for Congo, I stood on her deck. Am I not in your books and stories and beliefs from the first settlement on? Am I not spoken of still in every church in New England? Tis true the North claims me for a northerner and the South for no northerner, but I am neither. I am merely an honest American like yourself. And of the best descent for, to tell the truth, Mr. Webster, though I don't like the boast of it, my name is older than the country in its own years. Aha! Then I stand on the Constitution. I demand a trial for my client. The case is hardly one for an ordinary jury. And indeed, the lateness of the hour. Let it be any court you choose. So it is an American judge and an American jury. Let it be the quick or the dead. I'll abide the issue. A jury of the dead. Of the dead. Of the dam. Of the dam. Are you content with the jury, Mr. Webster? Quite content, though I miss General Arnold from the company. Benedict Arnold is, is engaged upon other business. Here is the judge, Hathorne. He is a jurist of experience. He presided at the Salem witch trials. There were others who repented of the business later, however, but not he. Not he. Repent of such notable wonders and undertakings. Nay, hang them, hang them all. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. All ye who have business with this honorable court of special sessions this night, step forward. Call the first case. The world, the flesh, and the devil versus Jabez Stone. Who appears for the plaintiff? I, Your Honor. And for the defendant? I. The case, the case. He'll have little luck with this case. The case will proceed. Your Honor, I move to dismiss this case on the grounds of improper jurisdiction. Motion denied. On the grounds of insufficient evidence. Motion denied. <sighs> Motion denied. Denied. Motion denied. I will take an exception. There are no exceptions in this court. No exceptions. No exceptions in this court. It's a bad case, Daniel Webster. It's a your, case. your Honor. The prosecution will proceed. Your, ge your Honor, gentlemen of the jury, this is a plain and straightforward case, and it will not detain us long. Detain us long? It will not detain us long. It concerns one thing alone. 
the transference, barter, and sale of a certain piece of property, to wit, is sold by Jebba Stone, farmer of Cross Corners, New Hampshire. That transference, barter, or sale is attested by a deed. I offer that deed in evidence in Market Exhibit A. I object. Objection denied. Market Exhibit A. Exhibit A. Make it Exhibit A. We know the deed. The deed. It burns in our fingers. We do not have to see the deed. It's a losing case. It offers incontestable evidence of the truth of the prosecution's claim. I shall now call Jebba Stone to the witness stand. Jebba Stone to the witness stand. Jebba Stone. He's fine. He's a fine fat, yellow, fat fellow. Jebba Stone. He'll fry like a batter cake once we get him where we want him. Your Honor, I move that this jury be discharged for flagrant and open bias. Motion denied. Exception. Exception denied. His motion is always denied. He thinks himself smart and clever, Lawyer Webster, but his most motions always denied. Your Honor! Jebba Stone to the witness stand. Jebba Stone. Jebba Stone. I do. Do you solemnly swear, testify, to help you, and it's no good, for we don't care what you testify? I do. What's your name? Jebba Stone. Occupation? Farm. Residence? Clever. Cross corners, New Hampshire. Hey, farmer. He'll farm in hell. We'll see that he farms in hell. Now, Jebba Stone, answer me. You'd better, you know. You haven't got a chance. And there will be a cooler place by the fire if you do. I object. I protest. This is intimidation. This mocks all justice. The process is irrelevant, incompetent, and immaterial. We have our own justice. The protest is denied. Irrelevant, incompetent, incompetent. And immaterial. We have our own justice. Oh, ho, oh, Daniel Webster. Did you or did you not sign this document? Oh, I signed it, you know. I signed it. And if I have to, go to hell for it. I'll go. One of us. One of us now. We'll have a place by the fire for you, Jebison. The prosecution rests. Remove the prisoner. But I, but I wish to cross examine. I also wish to prove. There will be no cross-examination. We have our own justice. We may speak, if you like, but be brief. Brief. Be very brief. We're wary of earth, incompetent, irrelevant, and immaterial. They say he's a smart man, Webster, but he's losing this case tonight. Be very brief. We have our own justice here. A seal. Ha ha. A burning seal. Death is stronger than love. Set the seal upon Daniel Webster, the burning seal of loss. Make him one of us, one of the damned, one with Jebus Stone. Be still. I was going to thunder and roar. I shall not do that. I was going to denounce and defy, but I shall not do that. You have judged this man already with your, abom your abominable justice. See that you defend it, for I shall not speak of this man. You are demons now, but once you were men, I shall speak to every one of you of common things I speak of, of small things in common. The freshness of morning to the young, the taste of food to the hungry, the day's toil, the rest by the fire, the quiet sleep. These are good things, but without freedom, they sicken. Without freedom, they are nothing. Freedom is the bread and the morning and the risen sun. It was for freedom we came in the boats and the ships. It was for freedom we came. It has been a long journey, a hard one, a bitter one. But out of the wrong and the right, the sufferings and the starvation, there is a new thing, a free thing. The traitors in their treachery, the wise in all their wisdom, the valiant in all their courage, all, all have played a part. It may not be denied in how, nor shall how prevail against it. Have you forgotten this? Have you forgotten the forest? Have you forgotten your lost nation? Have you forgotten the sea and the way of the ships? 
Forgotten. Remembered. Forgotten, yet remembered. You were men once. Have you forgotten? We were men once. We have not thought of it, nor remembered, though we were men. Now, here is this man with good and evil in his heart. Do you know him? He is your brother. Will you take the law of the oppressor and bind him down? It is not for him that I speak. It is for all of you. There is sadness in being a man, but it is a proud thing, too. There is failure and despair on the journey, the endless journey of mankind. We are tricked and trapped. We stumble in the pit, but out of the pit we rise again. No demon that was ever fooled can know the inwardness of that. Only men, bewildered men. They have broken freedom with their hands and cast her out from the nations. Yet she shall still live while the man lives. She shall live in blood and the heart. She shall live in the earth of this country. She shall not be broken. When the whips of the oppressors are broken and their names forgotten and destroyed, I see you, mighty, shining, liberty, liberty. I see free men walking and talking under a free star. God save the United States and the men who have made her free. The defense rests. We were men. We were free. We were men. We have not forgotten. Our children, our children shall, shall follow and be free. The jury will retire to consider its verdict. No, not guilty. But Your Honor. They're gone and it's morning. Mary, Mary. Just a minute, Mr. Scratch. I'll have that paper first, if you please. And now, sir, I'll have you. What? But you, you, come, come, Mr. Webster. This sort of thing is riddle. Ouch. It's ridiculous. If you're worried about the cost, costs of the case, naturally, I'd be glad to pay. And so you shall. First of all, you'll promise and covenant Never to bother Jabez to honor any New Hampshire man from now until doomsday. For any help, we want to raise the state we can raise ourselves without any help from you. Ouch. Well, they never did run very big to the barrel, but ouch. I agree. See, you keep to the bargain. And then, well, I've got a ram named Goliath. He can butt through an iron door. I'd like to turn you loose in this field and see what he could do to you. Hey, Mr. Webster, please, man, calm down. Neighbors! Neighbors! Come in and see what a long-barreled, slab-sided, lantern-jawed, for fortune-telling, no shaver of God by the scuff of the neck. Bring, bring on your kettles and your pans. Bring on your muskets and your flails. We'll, we'll drive him out of New Hampshire. Well, we'll drive him out of New Hampshire. I'm out of here for you. 